Hey guys and welcome back to another session of locomotion. I just dropped the kids off at the pool and I'm ready to go. And just to be clear by that I mean I took a dump. <laughs> I don't have any kids. So uh, let's start this off with renewing these two aircraft because I noticed that they are getting old. And while we wait for them to land let's talk about what I'm gonna do next, I got, I've been having uh, lots of requests to do a passenger train, so I thought I'd do one over here. Mm, it could carry stuff maybe to Blackborough, because we already got a station here. And maybe eventually also Brownton. And then also this way to this mega tri-city area. <coughs> no, let's see, where should I put the station? Maybe over here? That would be the easiest, probably. We could also put it here, have it elevated. That way it would uh, let the town grow underneath it. Let's renew this guy with another F7. Where the hell is this one? <laughs> like black behind him. The edge of the world. Come on, get down, get down. Let's see how the trucks are doing. Right, looking good, looking good. Get your ass to the bin and resume with a new. Very reliable, 158%. Thanks to the local wrapper. Or local tool wrapper. Okay, so I was gonna build a passenger uh, station somewhere over here. <coughs> mm. If I do it on this side, it'll be a challenge to connect over here. So maybe I'll just do it on this side because the town really doesn't need to uh, expand uh, over or under it because this uh, station is already expanded into the city so let's expand it even further so that we can make it the same oh it's already too spread out so I gotta remove one of these there we go. Now we should be able to connect with a train station right here. There we go, I have steam control. Hmm. Let's make it 12 squares just like uh, Blackborough over here. For maximum train. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and one more. There we go. <coughs> mm. So we'll go around like this. And, uh, Connect somewhere over here, maybe like straight para parallel with this thing. Oh, we got new color lights invented. American style. Too bad there's no way to upgrade all of your signals at once. You can't even like click like this to rebuild, you have to remove and then rebuild. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave these as a... Uh, what's that called? Semaphores. Too much of a hassle to replace all of them just for a visual change. Oh, whoops, that's going to go past there we go mm. 
Mm, let's add at least one or two more platforms. actually makes sense to a commoner <laughs> green light go and red light stop although I think yeah by default these are all like red but then when a train approaches at some point they turn to green tricky part is to connect these three to this line mm, I could use the tunnel uh, deviate from it and then come up somewhere over here Although building underground like this is not only expensive, it's also risky because you might end up covering it with so many <coughs> tracks that you actually can't see it without first removing these. At least now I can see this from this angle to add the uh, color lights and possibly waypoints as well. this middle one then connect to that <coughs> hello success Platforms like that, standard procedure. Oh, I can actually see it from this side as well. It's a bit easier from this side because there's a gap. signal on the track going this way right after the uh, intersection okay <coughs> so now I should be good to make a new train 330 passengers could actually extend this thing a bit more if possible Train. <coughs> Let's see, I could use this thing, but it's only 80 kilometers, and we could go up to 112 with these passenger carriages, except the mail car is only 88, so then I wouldn't use any mail cars if I want full speed. These things go up to 88, and all this track has is those things. 
Mm -hmm. uh, this thing carries a hundred passengers, whereas this is sixty. So probably having these would fit more because this thing is so long. And uh, yeah, this is also a pain in the a pain in the ass to renew if it gets really loud, like I said. Mm. Mm, this is a tough decision. Kind of want it to be fast for the passengers' sake because you get more money. But on the other hand, this track already has so many trains that it might. Uh, get slowed down by these anyway. Uh, yeah, let's do the electric multiple unit. But for that we need some third rails, so let's add those. 18,000. <coughs> let's see how many can I fit. These three. Oh, damn it, four doesn't seem to fit. It's like I need one more space. Uh, can I extend this station any further? Uh, nope. Not without some serious design changes. Damn it. <laughs> Maybe I should build the uh, normal locomotive instead. This thing only fits three. <coughs> no, well, it's still 300 passengers. So let's just do it. Let's do it. Uh, no full load. And then go there immediately. Wow, oh, we got a new airplane just after I renewed these. Ooh, 17 passengers were getting bigger. And much faster as well. So then, black ball. Over there, over there, and uh, let's put some waypoint down there. Should be good. Go. No mail, yes, because the rating for mail is very poor. <coughs> oh, it's so slow. <laughs> now I'm regretting not building the faster one. Does it even make any sounds when it left? Let's see how much we got over here. 540 passengers, plenty to go around. <coughs> we got some sparks coming off the third rail. Almost 35,000. Very nice. Very nice. Maybe I should build another because there's certainly plenty of passengers to go around and the rating is mediocre, so there's probably more to be had in terms of passengers waiting. <coughs> oh, damn it. This guy cut in front and uh, broke down. You could actually replace it. Mm -hmm. Oh, my ships can't handle all the coal. <coughs> I 
And they're also getting old, so I just start renewing them. Although, with my luck, a new merchant ship is probably gonna be invented. So maybe I won't renew all of them, just like some. Doesn't make that kind of sound. <coughs> Thirty two thousand. Come on, stop already. And I've been promoted to chief executive. You know, I should be getting a new HQ once again, yep. Let's see what we get. Hmm. Maybe I should build the other train faster, see a comparison. Which one makes more money. <coughs> so it's gotta be the Gressley, because this thing goes only uh, 96. Let's go 88, but this, no way, that one is 112. Let's see how many can we fit. Mm -mm, that looks like it fits. An awful lot though. Let's <laughs> renew some more ships. Oh, actually, these are. No, wait, did I already. Nope, I didn't renew the iron. Ships, they're probably much older than the uh, coal ones. <coughs> Two ships. First mail in Iverston. That's new, so let's not renew that. Cherry head no longer accepts food. Uh, I don't care. All goods. All mail. Well. <laughs> I got a new water speed record that sometimes happens when you renew a boat and drop it off at the port. <laughs> 